This is one of multiple LAN or local area network troubleshooting videos. In this example, users are complaining that PC1 can't ping PC2. Here's router 1 acting as PC1, ping 10.1.3.2. Looks like the pings are failing, so we don't have connectivity from PC1 to PC2. Show IP route. Default gateway of the PC is configured to 10.1.2.254. This is a Cisco IOS V router, but IP routing has been disabled. Hence the routing table looks as follows. IP routing is disabled, but a default gateway has been configured. Hence we see default gateway as follows. Can we ping the default gateway? Yes, we can. Can we ping VLAN 3 on the default gateway? PC2 is in VLAN 3, and notice here is the default gateway, switch one. Some of the documentation in this topology hasn't been updated, and that's something you're constantly gonna find when troubleshooting real networks. So we can ping VLAN 3 on the default gateway. Can the default gateway ping router two? So here's switch one acting as the default gateway. Can it ping 10.1? .2. No, it can't. So it looks like we have a problem between switch one and this router. Let's check if we have connectivity between the access switch and the core switch. My topology is not showing the IP address of the access switch, so let's jump onto the access switch and confirm and check what its IP address is. This is a problem you may encounter if you don't have no IP domain lookup enabled. These devices are iOS V layer two switches and routers. In GNS3, no IP domain lookup is not enabled by default on these devices. So that's probably something we wanna do immediately to save us frustration. So the command is no IP domain lookup. So show IP interface brief. Switch has this IP address on VLAN one. Can we ping the core switch on VLAN one? Looks like we can't. Can we ping this core switch, switch two? So before going any further, let's update the documentation. That's the IP address of this switch. Let's check if the switch can ping switch two. So here's switch two, show IP interface brief. Okay, it has IP addresses on the three VLANs. So what I'll do is update the diagram. It's 253 in all the VLANs. So that's IP addresses of switch two. Can switch four, the access switch ping 10.1.1.253. Doesn't look like it can. So it looks like there's a problem on this link between switch two and switch four. Show CDP neighbor. We do see a neighbor relationship between the local switch and router two as well as switch two. Show IP interface brief. Interfaces look up. Show interface trunk. It looks like this interface is trunking to the core. Let's check the configuration on the core switch. So show interface trunk. Can you see the problem? What I'll do is move the console to the left here. Can you see the issue? What's the problem between switch two and switch four? Okay, so on switch four, gigabit zero zero has trunking on. The encapsulation is eight to the one Q. Native VLAN is one. On gigabit zero one on switch two, trunking is on, but the encapsulation is ISL. 
So trunking is enabled with a native VLAN of one, but the encapsulation is wrong or different. So encapsulation is ISL on this port, whereas on this port, encapsulation is dot one Q. You need to have the same encapsulation on both sides. So what I'll do is change the encapsulation. Show run interface gigabit zero one. That looks better. Can the switch now ping switch four with IP address 10.1.1.4. It still hasn't come up. What we may have to do is wait a bit, but what I'll do just to force things is shut the interface down and then no shut it. You may have a slightly different experience in GNS3 versus a physical switch. We still only see switch one through CDP that may take a while to come up. Interfaces are up, up. Show interface trunk. Trunking is now set to edit to the 1Q on both sides. Can this switch now ping switch two? Yes, it can. So that looks better. If you have issues, you may want to shut and then no shut the interface so that the encapsulation and other options are renegotiated. So can PC1 ping PC2? Let's check if that works. Okay, we still have a problem. PC1 on the left is not able to ping PC2. Let's do a trace to 10132. So it gets to the default gateway and then the trace times out. Can PC2, or router two acting as PC2, ping its default gateway? Yes, it can. Notice suddenly here we had some kind of output. And I was actually running an ICMP debug here and notice the output. So let's try and do that ping again. And what I'll do is enable a debug IP ICMP. So the ping is suddenly working and that may just be something in GNS3. The problem here is notice this option. Be careful, especially with PCs, you may have a problem where everything looks good, but the PCs can't ping each other. What I should have configured here is an IP default gateway of 10.1.3.254. So in a real environment, that ping may not work. It depends whether proxy op is enabled on your inter VLAN routing devices. Proxy op will allow a device to proxy the default gateways of other devices. In many cases that's disabled. So you need to have the default gateways enabled on both sides. So show IP route, notice default gateway, show IP route, default gateways configured. So be careful in a real environment and in the exam that the default gateways on both edge devices are configured properly. So we've now fixed this topology. If you enjoyed the video, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.